This tutorial will show you how to come up with keywords and search statements that will help you search more quickly and efficiently. It will also take you through the basics of Boolean searching, a technique that turns your questions into something that article databases and library catalog can understand. Keywords are the most important words in your topic. As you look at your research question, try to identify at least two or three. One of the easiest ways to identify keywords is to take away all the words in your topic that are not nouns. For example, should the, U the U.S. government increase funding for alternative energy research? Your keywords would be United States, alternative energy, research, funding, and U.S. government. When you identify your keywords, you also need to think about some alternative ways of describing your topic. The authors of the information you're looking for may be using different words to describe the topic in their books or articles. For example, say you're looking for information about teenagers. An author might have written a great article about adolescents, juveniles, teens, or young adults, etc. All these words refer to the same group of people, they're synonyms, but to the database, they are completely different things. If you only use the keyword teenagers, you may miss some useful information. How can you find synonyms? Well, two of the best ways to find synonyms are to try a thesaurus or to do a little background reading in a reference book. Once you have your keywords, you need to connect them with words like and, or, and not so that the database will know how to look for your keywords. These connectors are called Boolean operators. They work in both the library catalog to find books and the databases to find articles. Let's look at AND. AND connects terms. It tells the database that you only want to see articles or books that have both terms present. If one of the terms is missing, the database won't pull it up in the results. For example, global warming and causes. The quotation marks in this example are used to keep the phrase together so that the database searches for those words in that order. In this example, the database will look for the keywords global warming and causes, but will only show you the articles that have both terms. And makes your search more specific, and adding more keywords to the search will make your results much more focused. Now let's look at OR. OR is used to tell the database that you want articles to have any of your keywords. OR is a great way to add alternative terms, like teenagers or adolescents, so that you don't have to run multiple searches. In this example, the database will show you any articles that contain the keywords United States or America. Be careful with OR because it can cause the database to pull in all sorts of irrelevant hits. When you use OR, you can use a technique called nesting. To keep, this will keep your search from getting out of hand and giving you too many results to evaluate. For example, elections and parentheses quote United States end quote or America end parentheses. To nest or group terms, you put parentheses around them. This tells the database that you only want results that have the keyword elections and either United States or America. An article must have at least two of these keywords before the database will show you the results. The final Boolean, not, is used to exclude terms from your search and can be a great way of getting rid of irrelevant hits. Databases do not understand what words mean. When you search, the database is really only looking for a pattern of characters in a particular order. It doesn't understand that Indians can refer to people from India or Native Americans. Using not to exclude one or more of these other meanings can help you get to the useful articles much more quickly. Now let's look at an example. Indians, not, quote, Native Americans, end quote, will result in about will result in articles about Indians that do not have the phrase Native Americans in them. Now let's recap. Use the most important words in your topic as keywords. Look for synonyms or alternate terms you can use as keywords. 
use AND to connect terms, use OR to add alternative terms, and use NOT to exclude terms.